Welcome back. In the last video we made a um, flashing LED using the ESP8266. In this video we're going to let the control module put images onto this display module. This is the 4.2 inch ePaper module from Waveshare. Well, I've gone for the 4.2 inch version which is 400 by 300 pixels. I've also attached um, jumper cables to the to the built-in um, this output you've got here. I've attached these onto the ends and roughly color coded them so it's easier to track. You'll see that on the back of the board, the module, you've got the listed pinouts. Um, it's busy, reset, DC, CS, CLK, DIN, ground and 3.3 volts. Um, so we're going to be wiring this up to the board. The, a really useful resource is um, this ePaper display library, GXEPD. Handily, this works with the ESP8266 and it also gives you recommended pin mapping so you can connect it to your board. Because we're using the ESP8266 node MCU in this video, I've used these recommended connections. So that's what I'm going to wire up now. It says you connect the um, e-ink displays busy to the D2, reset to D4, DC to D3, CS to D8, CLK to D5, D into D7, and ground to ground 3.3 volts to 3.3 volts. So let's just have a look on the board if we can find all these things. Um, you probably can't see that because it's very small, but you've got the labels along the side and the top here, the bottom and the top. You've got 3V3, which is the 3.3 volt pin, and you've got GND, which is obviously ground, and then you just have to match it up to the relevant D um, pins. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I've connected everything up. Um, the next step is to um, download the code and edit one of the examples uh, to upload to the Node MCU um, and then flash the display module with the example images that I've got there. So in order to do that you need to go to the website, I'll put this in the description, um, but you can download the code yourself either by cloning the Git repository or by downloading a zip file. In this situation I'm going to download the zip because we'll need the zip file later on to um, to import the library into the Arduino interface, which I'll show you how to do. Once you've downloaded the zip, um, make sure you extract it and then open up the examples folder. And you should see that there's a folder called GXEPD SPI test example. That's the one we're going to use. And it's got a .ino file, which you can open up in Arduino. I'm assuming that you've got the Arduino um, program installed, but if not, you can download that from their website. You double click, it will launch Arduino and it should open up our test file. So the first thing you want to do is make sure we've got the necessary libraries installed. Um, if you go to tools and then, uh, sorry, if you go to sketch and then include library, you can manage the libraries that you've got attached to your um, Arduino instance. In this case, we need, um, I believe it's the Adafruit. Um, let me check what, what it's called. Yeah, you'll need the Adafruit, Adafruit, I'm not sure how to say that, GFX library, which is should be installed by d default. If you filter on Adafruit GFX, I've already installed, but you'll have an install button here. Press that and it will add it. Um, and then once you've added it, you can go again to sketch and include library. Scroll down to Adafruit GFX library and it will automatically add the lines of code to include that. You'll also need to include the um, the library that we, we, we're we using here, which is the GX EPD library. To do that, you'll need to um, install it from the zip file because I don't think it's included in the Arduino interface. You can do that by going to include library and then add zip library and then browsing to wherever you downloaded it. And then once that has successfully installed, in, in my case, I already had it installed, so it's come up with an error message, but it should tell you it's successfully added. You can go again to sketch, include library, and then scroll down to your GX EPD. 
and it will include the necessary files. Um, there's not a huge amount I'm going to change on this file. Um, apart from, we'll need to include the correct size. So here you can see the default is 1.54 inch black and white. We want to comment that out with two forward slashes and then um, uncomment the 4.2 inch BWR, which is black, white, and red. In my case, the display actually has yellow instead of red, but um, it's the same code. If you've just got the black and white version, then you can obviously un uncomment the line above. Um, we're gonna save this. And then you should be able to upload it directly to the interface. Now I'm gonna check that I've got the right uh, port enabled on COM3, and then hit the upload button to start compiling the sketch. And then once this is finished compiling, you should see um, a message pop up in the console here showing you it's uploading to the screen. You might get an error message here about a uh, low memory warning, but that doesn't seem to have affected um, its ability to run for me. So I'll um, just ignore that for now. And then once it's uploaded, you'll see the screen starts to flash and start cycling through all of their test images. Um, you'll see that some of them include the third color, yellow, and um, and you'll see a you get a good idea of the refresh rate and um, and the, the capabilities of the text rendering. So that's what we're doing for this video. That's um, a very quick way of just testing your screen, getting some information from your A266 to your e-ink module, e-paper module. Um, next up, we're going to, in the next video, we're going to um, get an image from, uh, from a URL, download it using the built-in um, Wi-Fi on this board and then transfer it across to the e-ink module.